Hey folks, it's Mike. I'm uh, back in Gimli, um, and more specifically on Lake Winnipeg. Uh, it's early March and uh, the uh, weather's beginning to warm and I uh, wanted to get back here before uh, this, the, uh, all the ice melted and uh, I'd have to swim in the harbor instead of walk on it. Um, I've been here, uh, what, about a week and a half ago I came out here uh, to shoot the northern lights and uh, got some nice views with uh, the ice shacks that are, uh, or ice fishing shacks that are on the, uh, the ice there. So I uh, wanted to take one last look before uh, the thaw. Sheesh. All the parking spots are taken up? Come on, guys. Seriously? So, is there a doctor in the house? Ha <laughs> ha get it, Doc? It, it, never mind. <sighs> Is this one of those mysterious and frightening uh, monoliths that uh, everybody's been seeing around the world uh, lately? Uh, sh oh, you know, I probably should run. I suppose if you're really desperate to go to the bathroom while you're out here, ice fishing, or just generally walking around like me, uh, this is your only uh, port-a-potty port of call. Yeah, I know, bad joke, whatever. Um, although I wouldn't want to be here when it uh, melts, because that may not be great, because I don't want to be sitting and, and then falling, and then, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's a crappy situation. Yeah, I know, bad joke, I know. I uh, don't think that boat's going anywhere. Um, something about ice. Just, just can't crack it. I bet this is like a short-term rental property. Um, seem to have plenty of them uh, around up here. Um, I wonder how uh, how much. I wonder if it's uh, cheap enough for me to uh, to rent for uh, a month. Of course, I probably should take advantage of that soon before uh, you know spring. And then uh, it's worth this property. Yeah. So uh, I've heard there's supposed to be uh, a lot of uh, people fishing out here today. Um, I don't see them. Oh, wait a minute. Ice fishing. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like a great place to do some ice skating. Nice big, uh, you know, lake filled with ice. You know, the way it should be in the winter. Yeah. You have to wonder if the uh, B-52s were actually uh, from uh, Manitoba instead of Georgia. Um, a, would their hairstyles actually um, work up here in Manitoba? Although I suppose, you know, with big poofy hair, it would stay in place with all the, you know, cold weather here. Um, but uh, would they actually be singing about the love shack or the ice fishing, ice fishing shack? Just a thought, you know. 
Um, yeah. So the ice shack is a little old place where we can fish together. Yeah, I know. I it's winter's long. I, I'm I'm ready for it to be over. So soon. Actually, don't really don't. Yeah, at the moment uh, the the uh, ice on the lake here is pretty solid. Um, I mean, I have to worry about slipping around, but I mean, it is thick enough for uh, for me to stand on. It's thick enough for uh, cars and trucks to actually be on. Um, although later this week, uh, I wouldn't count on it. That's why I'm taking advantage today. Well, it's like minus 10. So I, I suppose I should explain for those that uh, don't uh, enjoy the very cold and very snowy weather. Um, the, uh, you know, these are ice fishing shacks where they're shacks uh, on sleds really. Uh, so they could be moved around basically on or off the ice uh, during the winter uh, or at the end of the winter when the, you know, ice melts and such. Um, you know, of course they got holes in them so that uh, people can uh, sit in for hours and uh, enjoy some fishing and, uh, I don't know, some TV. What do you do while you're fishing? I don't know, man. I don't fish. That stuff's boring. But uh, some people like it. Not me. Eh, whatever. Okay, it's a uh, camper trailer, aka a caravan, as the British would say. And uh, just wondering how long it is until uh, Jeremy, James, and Richard, from formerly from Top Gear, now the Grand Tour, will want to come and destroy it. Stay tuned. So the uh, focusing technique I'm using is uh, basically just a one that's uh, not very scientific. It's basically just uh, focusing about uh, a third of the way up into the scene, uh, and uh, for the most part, it seems to work. Um, getting some uh, pretty good shots, I think, uh, out of all that, and uh, you know, just sticking with a pretty base ISO and uh, you know, f11 for an aperture and uh, shutter speed, you know, to match. 160th, 1250th, that kind of thing. It's uh, bright enough for it, and well, you don't want the uh, snow to actually be too gray, so you kind of have to slightly overexpose. So, yeah. Okay, this is a uh, snowmobile trail just right in front of me here, and uh, well, I think it's safe to cross because uh, I'm not seeing or, or hearing any uh, any snowmobiles for like miles, kilometers, eons. No, a ton uh, yeah, I, I'm not seeing any. With all this uh, snow out here, you'd think this would be an ideal time to actually uh, get on the ground and uh, make some snow angels. However, this is hard packed snow and ice, so um, yeah, snow angels not happening here. Not even happening on the beach either because it's pretty solid there. Um, although by the end of this week, uh, it'd be more like slush angels. Um, although by the end of this week, I probably could come back with my pizza-shaped floaty and float around in the lake again. I could. Maybe. Who knows? Ah, crap. It's uh, the doctor's uh, arch nemesis from uh, Gallifrey. Dr. Pooh. Ah. Hey, folks. It's future Mike interrupting past Mike. Uh, I filmed that back in uh, the beginning of March. It's now St. Patrick's Day, so mid-March. Um, I just wanted to apologize for that crap joke. Um, I actually used that joke back last summer on an Instagram story, which I can show you here. And, uh, well, 
To be honest, I probably should have gone with more of an ice fishing porta potty joke where you don't want to know what you're fishing for in there. You just don't. That's point number one. Point number two, uh, it's, it's been nice and warm the last 10, 15 days or so. Uh, so much so that you can actually not walk on the ice anymore. Um, and, uh, well, point number three, um, this has been a great month for the Northern Lights. I mean, great. Uh, I've, I've never seen activity like this before. Uh, so I'll show you a couple of photos after this. And, uh, well, they were from uh, Gimli back in late February. And wow, that's all I can say. Anyway, back to the show. Anyway, uh, I think it's time for me to go home. I'm getting a little cold, and uh, I don't want to fall through the ice. So uh, I'm going to get off here uh, as quickly and safely as possible because I'm going to slip on the ice. Uh, so see you next time. Do the usual: like, comment, subscribe. Have fun, guys.